You are welcome to GST 104, the use of library. I am Dr. Angela Ibele Okbala. I will be taking you through Module 5, Unit 1, Basic Study Techniques. For effective study, students must not depend on chance, but must adequately plan their study using tested study methods. Students who follow these methods learn more easily, retain materials for longer periods of time, and save themselves hours of study time. In this unit, you will learn more. You will learn good study and reading methods. Good study methods. The following steps will help you develop good study skills. Making and keeping a study schedule. Students must have a functional reading schedule where specific hours are set aside for reading each day. Studying in an appropriate setting, it should be same time, same place, every day. A conducive environment such as a library or and a study room at home is highly recommended for study. Equipping your study area with all materials needed. Ensure that you visit the library that you go and you you must go with unnecessary reading materials and you must not rely on the inspiration for motivation get yourself motivated don't leave your studying time to when you feel like another point is taking good notes students must learn to take good notes efficiently as their instructors stresses important points in class and as they study. Overlearning materials also enhances memory. According to psychologists, you must overlearn a concept for it to be internalized. Let's, let's look at a very interesting reading method, very effective as well. That is the SQL 3R reading method. The SQL 3R reading method is designed to help process and increase retention of written information. The SDS stands for survey. The R stands for question. The first R stands for read. The second R stands for re recall. And the final R stands for review. Now, taking them one after the other, the survey simply means skimming your work, the piece of work before you. And this will mean maybe looking at the introduction, the title, the general overview, to have a general idea of what that material is all about. Then question. You have to question, ask certain questions prior to reading. What are your objectives? You have to state them. Then the first reading, you have to read. Following, having this in mind, as you read, look for answers to the questions you first raised. Answer questions at the beginning or end of chapters of study guides. Reduce your speed for difficult passages. Stop and read parts which are not clear. Read only a section at a time and recite after each section. Now the second R which is recite. It simply means recall and you can recall either orally or in the written form. Then review what you have read. That is the third R. It is important to review the material to understand and remember it. You have to, did you answer all the questions and understand the information? Review each time you study will eliminate the need to cram. Thank you for listening.